never did I think he was going to actually take his life. I wish I would have like realized like signs of like suicide, but I guess in a moment like didn't want to really believe it. My mother adopted all of us. We had total 33 kids. That's basically your friends. We had a closeness. When he was home, he was like my workout buddy. When he was like seven, eight years old, he had an eight pack. Like this kid was like crazy good. <laughs> but um, there was no backpack actually. To our understanding, there was no person. Because they said that person that they couldn't find for three years, that person was then deported. When he came home, obviously he was different than when he had left. They like to say paranoid, and I don't, I don't like to use the word paranoid. When you're being attacked constantly, or when you're being tortured rep repetitively, it's not a paranoia, it's a fear, it's a justifiable fear. The guy that beat up Khalif on video, he lied on paper and said Khalif tried to escape. He had mittens on, handcuffed at the hands and feet. How was he escaping? He was, had to be 130 pounds, and he's only 5'4". He is not a threat, nowhere near it. He spent over 320 something days in solitary confinement. I started a campaign to see like, if we can make a change. He's never given a second chance. Me deal, because he just couldn't take any more abuse. Two states that prosecute 16 year olds as adults. If you're black and uh, black or brown or Hispanic, it's going to happen to you. You want your kid, your relative, or somebody. The Khalid Browder Bill bears his name because he represents not just himself, but all the kids that are being tortured and basically who's being deterred from having their right to a speedy trial uh, being heard or having it happen. People can help out with by signing the petition, agreeing that yes, this needs to stop. To shut down Rikers represents a change that the public needs to see. I mean, we're, we're tired of our kids or loved ones or ourselves being incarcerated and then you come home and you can't get a job. Or being incarcerated and you come home and you can't live back where you used to. Changing their, their, their thoughts on how America condemned blacks and Hispanics is the way to start.